Hey guys, this is Lily from Good Team. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to create a pop-up form uh, for your website in HubSpot. Um, so say that you want to create a form um, for people to fill out like a pop-up form that shows up when people come to a certain spot on your website and it pops up and um, it's to for them to download a free ebook in exchange for information essentially. Um, so you go to marketing, lead capture, go to CTA, things have changed. Um, then you would go to create. They have all these templates that you can choose from for different kinds of CTAs you may want to make. Um, this is what we're doing. So we're going to choose a template and then you can customize this in all different kinds of ways here. So you could go into your image if you wanted to replace it. Um, it's like, ooh, this is, you can change the alternate text, um, adjust like width and height and the size of it. Um, all of these different things. If you want to link the image to a URL, you could do that and insert the URL here. Um, and if you want to open the link in a new tab, you do that here. And then once you've got all this the way that you want it, save and apply. And there's your image. Um, this is like the styles of this. So if you wanted to like change the padding, like, oh, we want this more centered, you would do that here. Um, or you could switch padding off, um, whatever it is. Um, we're going to do a little more centered. It's not very centered, but oh well, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, and then save and apply. Um, then you can click on like the different things if you want to add a different kind of text. Um, or you want to change the color, the headings um, of the text. If you want to change the font type um, and the size, bold, all of that, you can personalize can insert personalization tokens um, and all that kind of stuff. So once you get all that the way that you like it, um, if you wanted to change the margins for that, you could do that here. It's very similar to what's on the customization settings on the image. And then once you get the image and the text you like for your pop-up, um, you select your form. Um, so if you don't have one, uh, you can create a new one right here. Um, this is one that I made. And here you can even change the settings on the form if you have already have one. Um, and you can change the button text. So you scroll down and see, oh, this is what it is. So honestly, I'm probably even going to bring this here so that all of it is in a better place. Yeah. Um, and then you can do a thank you message. Um, you can customize it here. Um, if you want to style the text of your thank you message, you can do that here whatever it is. Um, there are more settings here if you want to change the font, font size, and all that good stuff. Um, and then there are other options here, like consent chat boxes for communication, um, form submission, stuff like that. You can set those and switch those on here. Um, and once you have everything that you want, the way you want it, um, you can also change the button and the like the box type, depending on what you want it to be. We're just going to go with the default. Uh, you can change the text on labels, like what font you want them to be. If you want them to um, be a different font than the rest of it, whatever it is, you want to change the font size the help color. So if you want the little help things to be different, you can do 
do that here, the placeholder color, if you have like placeholders. Um, and then your button customization is here. We're gonna change it. Um, font size, change it here in the alignment of your button. Um, and then if you like wanna reset all of the form style, you can do that here as well. Um, we want to change that to just black. Nice. And then it's saved. Um, so then you can go to like targeting. Um, so what do you, kind of your settings of where you want this pop-up to show up if you have certain triggers that will trigger it um, when someone is visiting your website. Um, if they're scrolling, you want to be a certain part of the page things like that. And then you can change where it'll be shown on your website. Um, and do that here. Who will it be shown to? To all you want filtered visitors. So you can change like what kind of people um, or if you just want it to be shown to all people and then what frequency, like if you want it to be after a certain period of time, then you can do that. Um, change all of the targets and then there are other options like if you don't want it to show up on small screen sizes or if you want to select a campaign that this form is for like oh the form is a part of our guides and ebook campaign you would click that here um, and then you set a date and time for displaying and publishing so if you want to schedule it like right now um, when you're done with it then you can review it and publish it and it'll go live or if you want to publish it another day, you can do that here, the day and the time, or when it is over, like when it stops showing up, when the pop-up stops showing up, um, you can do that here. And then once you're done with that, you click review and publish, and then you see your settings um, that, you know, if you want to change them, do it, then you click publish now whenever you have it like you want it. And that is how to create a pop-up in HubSpot.